everyone and welcome to part 12 of our pick scraper tutorial and this is the final installment of our pick scraping tutorial and in this one we are going to save multiple pictures in other words all the pictures in our set that we've grabbed from our list so let's get on with it first of all uh, i've gone ahead and opened up my thing here and we're going to go into our main menu opened up my IDE and in our main menu editor right here we're going to click on save our save menu item and then we're going to select the arrow the plus here at the bottom because we want to add a menu item right underneath save and for our caption, uh, we're going to call this something like mm, save set. I think we'll go with that. So it's going to save all the pictures in the set is what's going to be the goal of this. And let's just name this menu item save set. Okay. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and close that. And now on our events, events, let's do a unclick event, double click, and has taken us back to our code editor. So now what we're going to do is to simplify this, let's just go ahead and copy the contents of our save click because a lot of it's going to be the same. So we'll just copy that and paste it into our save set. Okay, so now it's a copy of our save set, essentially. Uh, I mean, a copy of our save click event. Uh, one of the main differences, we're going to put in a for loop in here. And so that loop is going to be looping through our string list of URLs. So let's just start adding that in right now. First of all, I'm going to need to create an integer declare one. So let's do that. We'll call it I integer. Okay. So for I colon equals zero to our links dot count. So it's going to scroll th through this entire links list count minus one, because remember I we're going to use as our index. So that's going to start at zero and count starts at one. Okay, and then we have our begin and end in here to complete the body of our for loop. And let's take this uh, new URL save file dialog where it's going to grab the uh, save file and we'll move that into our for loop. Okay, very good. And then next, we're going to increment our index. And from there, let's see, let's jump back into our designer here real quick. And I want to also add in a progress bar. That way we can see the progress of our pictures that are being saved as it scrolls through each picture. And I think I'm going to have them load into the image control too. So under common controls, let's grab our um, progress bar and maybe we'll just stick it right in here. Maybe slide it over. Yeah, that might be a good place for it. And we'll just stretch that out a little bit, kind of make it longer. Okay. So now let's go ahead and anchor that in. So I think I'll anchor that to our maybe button here, our random pick button. And that's good on the left side. So it's lined right up. And then from the top, we'll go ahead, same button. And then from the bottom of that button, and then we'll drop it down maybe 12. Yeah, 45, 40. Yeah, maybe a little less. 
That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll go with 35. And so now we got our progress bar anchored in. Let's jump back into our source. Now we can start writing some code for our progress bar. Uh, let's see, but first I think we're going to have to create some variables here. So let's add into our integers and we want to call one progress and let's call the other one step. So they're going to reflect our progress and the steps as it goes through the process or the loop. And that'll be reflected in our progress bar. And then let's go ahead and maybe in initialize those as well. So underneath here, we'll just put in progress and we'll set that to one. And the same with step. We'll go ahead and set that to one as well. Cool. All right. What's an app without a progress bar? So let's go ahead and code this in now. So we'll set our progress is going to equal. Uh, we're going to put in parentheses and this will be, mm, it would be step times 100. Okay, divided by links dot count. Okay, that should give us an accurate breakdown of our progress as it's scrolling through. Now let's set our progress bar one dot position to progress. So whatever the value of progress is, is going to be the position of our progress bar, which it should go up as we go. Now I'm going to call application process messages. And this is going to give us th that smoothness that we need in our application. So when the progress bar is moving along, it's all going to run smoothly instead of just freezing and not jumping to 100 until it's done. So that's probably what would happen. Okay, then we're going to increment our step in our loop. And then we're going to break if our links, we're going to break if our links are uh, reach the end of the loop, at the end of the list. Okay, now let's change our caption here. We'll make that saved, set, complete. And we won't need the file name and the path and all that. So let's just take that out of there. All right. <clears throat> now let's give that a try. Mm, first of all, let me just double check. Make sure we're all good here. Okay. Back in our designer. Let me go ahead and before we launch this, I want to add in a picture to our save set menu item here. So let's go ahead and put an icon with that, and that would be under resources. And where is it? Save all. Okay. Cool. Want to have a pretty menu item there, not having a missing thing there. Icon. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my, and we're going to go into pictures and my scraped pics. So we kind of want to be in this and we have four in there right now. So this is kind of a smoke test anyway. <laughs> I don't expect it to be saving all the pictures right now. But uh, let's go ahead. This is a start. So we'll grab a space picture here. And we're at 20 picks. So let's click Save Set and see what happens. Okay. My Scrape Picks folder. 
hit save and it's kind of stopping here not really and it's showing save set complete which it's not now that's not surprising but just wanted to kind of get a status of where we're at right off the get-go and it did save the one pick looks like okay cool so let me jump out of here again real quick and I'm gonna try to do two things at once here I'm gonna flick the light there we go yes I needed a little more backlighting to clear my Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to initialize our index outside the loop, of course. And then inside the loop, we need to call get pick with links and index is our index. INX is our index. Because if we don't call get pick here, then of course, it's not going to save any pictures and load it into our uh, picture element and I really like our picture component to load as well as we scroll through so let's give that a try and see how that works so let's grab a random pick maybe I'll just put space instead of a random one kind of stick with our theme Spacey guy, spacey picture, it all kind of works. Okay, let's go ahead and save our set. Hit save. See what blows up next. Now oh, that's cool, okay. Now it's looping through our pictures and it's loading them into our element as a loop, which is what I wanted it to do. That's why we put in the the call to the function there. Uh, plus, the function needs to give us the different file names as we go through, too. So that's looking good. You can see that it's showing up on our raw output list there. So I like that. And it looks like it's going to hit all 20 here. We're up to not sure. I'll have to get a status. We'll have to program that in to write it in. Hmm. But we still only have five picks. So it looks like it maybe it didn't save them. Okay, let's see what's up here. And again, I want to step you through the process instead of editing this out and just making it all a nice, neat little package. Uh, it's really important to see the process. So let's highlight all this because I believe this needs to be in our loop. So let's go down into our for loop. And we'll add in these three lines where we set our URL, our sections, which uh, grabs the section of the URL, and our file name, which is section four. Technically five because we start from zero. So anyways, and then links. INX, we got to call it at that, at the uh, current location. So those have to be set in order for our file to be named properly and, and recognized when it goes into get picks. That way we're, we're scrolling through the correct link in the list. So let's stop our app and relaunch it. And let's get a random pick. And we'll open this guy up and let's just delete all these. That way we can kind of clear our list and see what's going on. All right. Cool and groovy. Let's go ahead and save set and see what happens.
Okay. That's a pretty cool looking pick. And scrolling through, so far so good. Let's see what we're getting here. Ah, check that out. See how it's not adding pictures, but it's overriding them as it's scrolling through. Ah, okay. So that's a little more revealing. See what's going on here? Ah, no wonder. Okay. Yeah, I'm using I and X. I shouldn't be because I'm inside the for loop. So I should be our index, not I and X. So that was a little dumb on my part. So let's change all these and increment INX. We don't need that at all. It's not relevant. So we can take INX out of there too. Okay, so I is really <laughs> what we should be going with. Everything else looks good. Okay, and this here I think maybe should be in the side of the loop too because if it's uh, setting file names to your last save directory, the file name is included. So that's also got to change. So let's paste that underneath our file, file name initialization there. And let me just tab this over. I like things neat. So <laughs> what can I say? All right. So now, yeah, if it's instantiating file name there in our check, that's got to be consistent with our loop. So I think that's going to help a lot. Let's go ahead and grab again. And save our set. Okay. Uh, just click on a file name because it doesn't matter. When we save our set, it's going to add anyway and look at that very cool now we are adding pictures <laughs> now if it gets all the way through the set i will be a happy guy oh but not too surprisingly something came up let's see invalid graphic unknown picture format okay so that means that what it did was it <clears throat> what it did was it pulled a link uh, that is not a valid picture. So I think we might need to do a check. But first, there was another thing I noticed. In the progress bar, I'd like to have a text showing there that shows our percentage. So let me find where that is. Um, yeah, I forgot what it was called. So I'll need to look here real quick. Oh, there it is. Yeah, bar show text. So let's set that to true. And that'll look cooler. Let me just show you real quick. So when we set that to true, this is what we get on our progress bar. Now my theme is different. So here it's showing the percentage here at the end of the progress bar. Depending on the theme or your operating system, that percent might actually be in the middle of the progress bar. But uh, that's a lot better. I like that. So now back to our issue at hand. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put a check in here. And let me think where we want this. Okay, where it's showing our file name. I would say probably right here. So Let's just go to our next line here. And we'll say if file name equals uh, .jpg, in other words, if there's nothing in the file name, then continue. And what continue means is stop right here and start looping again. Go to the next iteration of the loop. So it'll just ignore everything past that point and just loop to the next step. Let's give that a try and see how that works. And if it doesn't, I have another trick up my sleeve. <laughs> okay, let's clear these out. 
So we can verify that we're getting all the pictures. And I don't like that that's blank all the time every time I go up to hit save, so I'm missing something here. I think these guys also need to be up here in addition to the loop because otherwise it's not being set initially when we first go to hit save. So we still need this here. So I should have done a copy, not a cut before. <laughs> and now I'm gonna hit shift tab. Remember that will allow us to back up and tab in reverse instead of forward. So go ahead and do that. Just kind of tidy it up a little bit. Not exactly perfect in its alignment, but eh. It's good for now. Okay, cool. So we'll do a quick search. And then when we hit save set, there should be a file name, initial file name sitting in the dialog there. So there's a random pick that looks good. Save set. And there's an initial file name, good. I like that. That's more comfortable. So we'll go ahead and hit save and see what happens. See if it explodes. Last time I think it, it aired out when it showed some guy standing there. That guy. Yeah, sitting there, I guess. And it did again. Okay. See if it's the same thing. Yep, invalid graphic. All right. So. We just need to fine tune our check a little bit more. I think I'll add another line underneath the last one we did. So I'm just gonna hit continue here and then abort. That second um, dialogue that you got there, that message, that's what you would see if you were just running the app without a debugger. So let's go ahead and quit and take these out. And delete them. Just bypassing the trash bin this time. <laughs> okay, so I think underneath, let's see, underneath here, we're going to add if not file name contains photos because all our legitimate links have the word photos in it. So we'll look for that, then continue, just like the check above. So if it doesn't see anything with the name photos in it, then ignore it and continue on with the loop. Uh, a start to the, the next iteration, actually. Okay, I think that'll make it happier. Yeah, and this is kind of a lot of repetition, but that's part of the game. And I'm going to do beach this time, just to break it up a little. Besides that, beaches make good wallpapers, so... And these are high-res images. Let's go ahead and save set. And see how it comes out now. Mm, yep. Okay, out of bounds error. So our list index isn't right. When it started saving, it shot it out of bounds. So let's see where that boundary is being messed up here. Hmm. Oh, okay. In our for loop, we should not be going to links count, but count minus one. Because remember, count starts at one and our index starts at zero. So <laughs> that was the issue. And I think I'm going to just fine tune this part here too in our check. Instead of looking for a blanket photos across the whole string, 
maybe I'll just kind of refine that to maybe our sections. So that would be in section one, two, three. So let's just say section and three, our third one. And I, I, you know, it probably works fine the way it was, but let's just do that. Maybe just to make it a little more, a little more targeted, I guess. Okay, let's stick with beach. I hit enter and here we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and save the set and see what we get. I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> Okay, coming right along here, looking good. Nice, it's rolling right through. I did notice, however, if you, we look at our status here, it's still at three, and our spin edit is also sitting at three. I kind of like to have those rotate as we go as well. But as you can see in our progress bar, we have our text showing 75%, 80, and so on. So that's all counting up really nice. And we did it. We saved the complete set. So I think we're almost done here. We got 20 files, so it shows that it got them all. And there's one of our picks, beautiful high res, nice. Okay, that's looking good. So I think the last thing I really wanna do is just set these numbers to to increment as we go through saving them. And so we can easily do that by just adding in our calls to set our label and our spin edit text. So let's go with label status dot caption and we'll set that to integer to string, int to str, and that'll be i minus one, which would be the index of our list. Okay, and same with spin edit. So we'll do spin edit one dot caption or value, and we'll set that to same thing. Or I mean, actually i plus one, because we're going to be user friendly here. Uh, just like in our integer to string, i plus one, but value is an integer by default. And label status, that was an issue. I think I named that wrong. Let's see what that's actually called. Ah, label pick number. Okay. <laughs> My bad. It's not status. Uh, that's our label pick number that we want to be calling. Okay, that's better. So we'll launch that. And now when we save our picks, uh, that should increment along with it. So let's go with space again. We'll just kind of add those to our beach pictures. So we'll go ahead and save set, save it in the same folder and check it out. It is now incrementing right along with the, with the progress bar. So that's excellent. In other words, excellent. <laughs> I love it. Kind of gives you the feeling of power when something actually works. <laughs> I know. Carry on. Okay. Very good. So that ought to cover everything. Let's just check in our, and we have all the pictures here. And I see in the status bar, it's showing 40 files. So very good. It captured them all. 
and this baby seems to be working like a charm. So that will cover it. Now, I'm going to leave a little bit of homework for you. With the knowledge that you've gained through this tutorial series, you should be able to add to the uh, any pile. So if you want, it might be kind of fun to save your last entered search. Like for example, we have space. Maybe we could save that in the any pile and you could have that show up when you launch the application. So the next time you launch the application, space will be in there. Or under the edit menu, where we put in that preferences as kind of an extra, you could even create a, another dialogue and put something in there like a checkbox or, you know, save last, save last um, picture searched or whatever. So a little bit of homework for you. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to hit that like button and also hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.